What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. It's deadline day so we're going to be covering all the latest news that's been happening over the past couple of days and leading up to today's deadline day and talk about all the ins and outs at Manchester City and then of course we'll have a roundup of today uh, which will be up tomorrow so make sure you stay tuned for that one. So we're going to crack on with this video and we're going to be talking about the ins and first up it's a new one that we've been linked with. Now Sky Sports are reporting that Manchester City and Arsenal were interested in Everton midfielder Dries Risa Gouai. Now, PSG, they've made a bid for him at the moment, and they're meant to be closing in on signing him. I'm not too sure why us and Arsenal have been linked with him, uh, but I feel like it's maybe to try and boost the price up for PSG at the moment. But Everton, I feel like they need a reason to say no to PSG. Then PSG come in with another bid saying, look, there's interest from other clubs, you're going to have to up your bid. And that's why our name's been floated around, because why not? We have money, and so the, our names are always there. Or, my favourite theory, reading through the comments on Sky Sports was, is the source... Sky bet, <laughs> um, which is just to try and boost their people putting money on him joining Arsenal or Manchester City, which strictly isn't true. He's 29 years old, we're looking for long term replacement for Fernandinho. He isn't it, uh, he isn't a brilliant passer of the ball either. Um, and so we're just going to shove, they're not going to put this on the back burner, we're just going to say no to that and move on. I suspect he'll probably join PSG today though, so I'll bring you up to date with that tomorrow. Now we have more of an update on Anti Palaversa. I said I'd bring it to you and I do. He signed his deal at Manchester City, he flew to, he flew to Manchester, he's done his medical everything's completed everything's signed and sealed we're just waiting for official announcement he's going to head back to croatia and go on a season long well to the loan until the end of the season at hadrick split where we just signed him from i'm expecting that to be announced today i'm not expecting manchester city to probably announce him as a player uh, mainly because we don't uh, if he's going to slot in as a youth player man city don't tend to announce officially youth players they just turn up one day so he'll come in the summer when the first day back when the players come back uh, he'll be there, but I suspect uh, that there'll be some confirmation from Croatia, Croatia's sources, and possibly even from Hajduk Split themselves. Easiest way to keep up to date with all these latest news, though, on Twitter. I retweet the sources. I also tweet about them and uh, tell you all my thoughts and everything. Uh, so my link to my Twitter is in the description below if you want to go and check me out on that. Stay up to date. Now we're going to move on to the outs. We're going to be talking about Ravi Matondo. This deal signed, sealed and delivered. It's been complete. He went to Germany the other day. Remember me reporting. He's had his Schalke medical. It was reported at the time £11.29 million pound fee with a 30 million buyback clause, 25% future fee added on. That was according to the Telegraph. That was a great deal for us, if true. Uh, it's signed and sealed, like I said now. We've had a little bit of the details come out. It's 11.3, so the 11.29 million, incredibly accurate. 9.6 million pound up front. The rest of it in add-ons. We've included a 10% sell-on fee, not 25% sell-on fee, but there is capital IS. There is a buyback clause for Manchester City to bring him back to Manchester City if they so wish. He's going to wear the number 14 shirt at Schalke. He's got a deal running until 2023. He said his reason for joining Schalke is it's a wonderful opportunity for him to develop. They've produced players like Ozil, Sane, Rakitic. He hopes to be the next big thing and benefiting from Schalke's regular playing time for young players. And so that's why he's left Manchester City. He won't be the first. He won't be the last to leave uh, to go abroad to get some uh, more games time but best of luck to the Welsh he's been capped so Welsh international Rabbi Matondo on his move you never know we might see him in a Manchester City shirt in a couple of seasons time you never know and uh, last but not least in the news it's been quite a slow deadline day but I'm expecting things to probably pick up with players leaving uh, in particular out on loan and players wanting to leave we might see some updates on Mangala for a, for example we might see a couple of players heading out on loan too might even have an Adara Bioyo update too but my former Manchester City young player Denis Suarez he's joined Joined Arsenal on a season long loan until the end of the season from Barcelona. He's just signed a new deal at Barcelona. So if they want to uh, sign him permanently, which I think Arsenal have the option to purchase him if they wish, um, they're going to have to pay a little bit more money now that he's signed a new deal. And also, if he ends up going back to Barcelona, though, they've got him on a long term deal and they no, don't run the risk of losing him uh, for free now. Might we see him at the Etihad on Sunday, the former Manchester City youngster, Denis Suarez? So there we go. That's been the video. Sorry, it's such a short one, but I've not really got a lot to say. Deadline day, things tend to pick up. We get all kinds of things spewing about. So I'm going to report on all that for you uh, tomorrow. And I'll keep you up to date with everything that's happening on deadline day today on my Twitter link in description below. Also, my Instagram's on there if you want to go and check me out too. Quick plug. Uh, but yeah, summary, nice. Uh, Palaversa, 
Um, <laughs> I love the comments. If you go and see that he's uh, signed, if you go on uh, City Watch's uh, Twitter page and just click on the comments, I absolutely love the comment section on there for that one. Um, <laughs> my favourite was, uh, he looks like he loves a red card. He's got that proper Balkan look about him, that proper no-nonsense look. He looks like he could do a proper job in the middle. Uh, I'm excited to see him for Manchester City come the summer. I hope he goes and aces it. Um, Obviously, a hat split before we see him in the summer. And I also wish the best of luck to Rabbi Matondo, who has left. And if you remember my last video, I said it was two out and one in. That's the one in is uh, Palaversa. And uh, Robbie, uh, Rabbi uh, Matondo is the out, along with Mars Moreno, who has also left. And we might get a little bit more out news. You never know. We might even get a sign-in. Who knows? There might be a huge story developing. It won't be the first time on deadline day, so make sure you stay tuned to that one. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a big thumbs up. If you did, make sure you subscribe, press the bell and put your push notifications on to stay up to date with all the latest Manchester City news, transfer news, previews and analysis, along with some football vlogs along the way and more interesting videos coming up. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. So it's been JSGC. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your transfer deadline day. It's the soap opera of the football world for January. Peace. Ciao for now.